for what that was, uh, Mr. O'Connor? Consider this. The MALN may want the favor of the IRA. It's a woefully uncertain world. You know, I'm here, man. Uh, both of us. We we want to keep the imperialists off our home island, son. But uh, tell me this, O'Connor. Why did you come all the way to Chicago to fight the British? There are no limey soldiers out there on Clark Street. It's not the British that come here to fight. I've done enough of that back in Ireland. No. I've come here to get revenge. Revenge on a man called John Keane, a Protestant who led the Ulster Brigade, murdering pack of scum they are. Keane thought he could pack it and move to America. But old scores aren't settled so easily as that. So only his blood will wipe the skin of the Do you know? I've been in a situation just like that myself once. His bastard's name was Joaquin Suarez. He was an informer for the CIA. He thought he could walk out of San Juan and come up here to Chicago. <laughs> but I followed him. And I got him. And he's not going to do no more snitching. But anyway, enough small hub. You come to Ramon because you need something. Something to do the job. To be sure. And fully automatic to swell him and any of his mates that might be tagging along. Follow me! Welcome to Ramon's Loft! Have a seat! is an original Thompson submachine gun. It's fully automatic and takes a clip of 30 45 caliber bullets. It's somewhat outdated compared to the M16 and the AK-47, but it should serve your purpose okay. It's guaranteed to put your friend Johnny Keen under the Pasto Verde. No, it's not where the shamrock grow that he'll be heading. His true destination is hell. I know his home and I know his haunts. He'll not be escaping me. Oh, 
Johnny, you're such a slob. Johnny, tell me again about that fight. Well, I think I'd rather join into this game. Johnny, why don't I think I'd like to... Might liven up things a bit. Yeah, yes. Here, actually, yeah. try this one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seven ball in the corner pocket. Oh, well done. Well, well done. That's his fault there. Yeah. Almost. Uh, not quite. I played bumper too. Right? Yeah. A bit of bumper. Barry. 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 Johnny, I'll tell you something. It's been a long time since you've come over to visit me. Now, when have I seen you again? Hmm? Would you like to suck? I'd beg your pardon. Stop that with you. Hey, Tiso. Johnny, you're Tiso Tempest. Oh. Oh, she was your woman. Oh, my shot. Okay, hey, Johnny, it's okay. Here we go. All right. I'll let you suck. <laughs> you been on the road too long, Johnny. Hey, let's tell me something, Barry. <coughs> yes, Johnny. Oh, it's your shot, but go ahead. Uh, I got to ask you about the truck strike. I understand you possibly had a little bit of influence on the I management think, uh, of the, uh, the, the, the O'Rourke Trucking Company. It's the damn Scottish. The ah, hey, Johnny. Thank you. So. Uh, well, I want no more business. Talk about the truck and strike at home. Oh, that's all I hear from you, man. Ah, uh, so, well, the truck is a... It, it's foolish. Then it's a why job, you, though, Johnny. Why are you part of the strike, then? Tell me that. I hear you oh. responsible for the bumping of the little rocks. But uh, I... Of course, you didn't have anything to do with it. Absolutely not. No, no, no. The Mets are up by one. Oh, we'll ah. catch the second game if we go. Let's oh, go. So. Oh, which one I go watch a silly baseball game for? Baseball? Oh, Johnny, you're going to leave me. Yes, I'm going to leave you. Oh, now. I'll see you next week, same time, same time. Bye.
preserve us. It's Jim, my brother. Heaven protect us. I never thought I'd be seeing you again, lad. You're looking fine, but now... <laughs> Tell me, what's the Thompson for now, eh? You're not going to shoot me now, are you? <laughs> seen you since we were kids in Ulster. How was I to know you turned Protestant and knew the militant opposition yet? Twenty years ago, after that bomb killed off, I was adopted by a man named Fee. He was an orangeman and he trained me to believe as he believed, to hate the Catholics and the IRA. When I came of age, I joined the Ulster Brigade. I did quite well there too. They made me a captain. But I had to see too many innocent people die for what they call justice. I, I knew it was really just for hate. Hate to the Catholics, hate to the Protestants, hate to the English, hate to the IRA. But Jim, I had to leave it all behind me. And I did when I came here. I've left it behind me, but, but now I see you standing there with a Thompson and I think, Jim, can't you leave the hate behind you too? I know. Something stopped me from pulling this trigger. Something outside myself. Maybe killing's not my destiny any longer. Maybe it's time we put an end to all this killing. Mates, there's got to be different ways. Better ways. Tend all our differences besides all this shooting. <laughs> Come on, lads. This calls for a Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> Jim and I have 20 years of catching up to do. Come on, mate. Ah! 